Well, we we conquered the 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 wood pile of debt, Benjamin, didn't we? Yes, we did. So, uh, how many rounds were there when we started? Uh, at least twenty. About twenty, and they were big ones. They were three foot across at least, and I know that the the butt of it was over four feet because I remember we measured it after we cut it. But uh, I want to just sit down and talk with you about maybe some life lessons that we learned and in, in doing this work and uh, I know one of the things that I learned was that it's uh, it's fun to do this work when you have a buddy to do it with even though it's hard work you can kind of uh, trade off and share the load and um, take turns and everybody gets a chance to rest so thanks for all your help yep. and uh, You know, I also learned that it's um, doing work like this out in the woods. There's a lot of a lot of worse ways you could spend your day than just out in the quiet and the, and the winds and uh, in the forest. I love the fall time of year. Um, it's beautiful, and uh, just using the muscles that God gave you to do good hard work is is a pleasure. So uh, I remember watching movies of old time loggers and there was a guy on the log crew that that's all his job was was to feed the steam jenny uh, feed the boiler with uh, split wood and he'd do work like this all day from from sun up to sundown splitting these big rounds and loading them up and so uh, I don't I don't think I'm these little teacher hands are ready for that yet but uh, um, it's good to harken back to those days and and remember what a few hours of hard work feels like. So what did you learn? Did you learn anything? Uh, when you're cutting rounds, you always want to bend your knees a little bit. Because it seems to give you more power to destroy the round. Anything you can do to give yourself more power and save your back is important to do. How did it feel as you went through the work to... to uh, be kind of awkward at first at it but to get better and better and by the time we got done you're splitting wood almost as good as I am how'd that feel uh, it felt pretty good I mean I feel like I'm contributing and you are right. and that's a good feeling isn't it Yep. versus sitting in the basement playing video games for hours and uh, you know I think that some of the some of what we experience in in uh, our schools with some of these young men um, getting so down on themselves and, and so hopeless that they don't feel like there's any hope is a symptom of not doing hard work and not feeling like uh, like they're contributing to society or even to their own household. So uh, that's a feeling to remember because that feeling happens when uh, when you're doing good things and it always feels good to contribute doesn't it anything else um, I was impressed by how you didn't quit we got tired today we had like two rounds left and they were the biggest ones and uh, we were tired and uh, and we, we wanted to quit both of us did but we just said let's just gut it out we'll take our time because uh, when you get tired, that's when you start to do uh, lose control of the axe and you get sloppy and, and that's when you're probably going to get hurt. So a good idea is just to kind of slow things down and um, take your time, be safe, and chip away at it. And you'll get the, uh, you'll get the job done eventually. Um, but uh, you don't want to keep working until you're going to injure yourself. But just because you get a little tired doesn't mean that you're, you're, you have to quit. Um, you can always keep going a little bit further than you think you can. So, good job. Thanks for contributing, okay. and thanks for spending a day with your dad. Talk to you guys later.